if I wanted more money, I'd be making move bombs, honey. <laughs> you are a disrespectful piece of It's very Amberlynn coded for me to start January 1st, but I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's gonna be happening. I mean, no one is surprised there. Like, it's not a big shocker. Get, it, I would get that cash grab. Who the fuck's gonna pay me to be on OnlyFans? A lot of people. Do you watch- mm -hmm. My 2014 New Year's resolutions video. Um, the first thing I want to say is I am horrible at goals, horrible at resolutions. I never, ever, ever fall through. But I mean, there has to be that one time when you do, right? So I feel like maybe this is it. I feel so motivated and so like inspired by so many people and stuff. And I firmly want to reach 350 pounds next year. Like that is my ultimate goal like that is going to be like the biggest thing that i am focusing on next year because i just feel like that would be so incredible i have never weighed that little at all during the time um on youtube so i feel like that'll be like wow like amberlynn's actually really doing this i feel like once i reach the 300s i feel like that's when people might take me a little bit more seriously i just feel like a new woman and i start off being so motivated and like i'm gonna kick butt at life and then somehow life decides to kick my butt i'm not making like like goals of weight loss and setting myself up for failure. I'm doing things differently this year and I'm actually pretty freaking excited. I literally was so happy that I didn't gain. But I'm like, hey, sip, sip, sip. Like, hey, sip, sip, sip. Which was Sunday is 520.0 on the dot, which I'm very glad about because last time you guys um, got a weigh-in for me. I was actually like 521 point something. So I have not gained weight since then. So I am fucking glad about that. Let me tell you, I'm so glad about that. I want to tell you guys right now that if I do not reach it, I'm okay with that. As long as I am close because I feel like I need to do this for my health. I need to do this for me. I need to prove myself and others that I can lose weight. I'm not just all talk because at one point I was down 89 pounds and I don't know what happened. Emotions got the best of me and food was there and I ate that food and I shouldn't have but I feel like I can really really do this and appreciate it. I wanna be appreciated. I wanna be appreciated. So this year I am doing things a little bit differently. I'm not going into it like oh January 1st I'm gonna count calories. I'm only gonna have 1200 calories. I'm just gonna have fruit all day like we're not doing that This isn't the broccoli chicken fruit diet not happening. That's why I binge. That's why I fail I am focusing on reality and that's how I'm going into it this year. So I do have a goal I would like to weigh 399.8 before 2024 so that means I have to lose 120.2 pounds this year me showing you what I eat in a day where I am off track. So I ordered the Cheesecake Factory, which I haven't done in a while. So I already know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this video, but that's okay. If you feel okay being a person who judges someone's eating disorder or addiction, then that's on you. It is what it is. Whatever works for you, whatever works for you. It's been working for me, so. is the next day January 1st 2020 I love the sound of 2020 just flows off your tongue very nicely so this video is just gonna be me talking um, I'm gonna be talking about some goals I have this year some resolutions just getting it all out there so first I want to say not only is it a new year it's a new decade and I think about the last decade and it was very 
up and down. I found love, I lost love, I had deaths in the family, lost a ton of weight, gained a ton of, ton of weight, lived in quite a few different states. It's just been a lot. Ugh, like, <laughs> it's so crazy that in the beginning of this year, I was engaged. And then I got my heart broken in the middle of it. And then I fell in love again. So one year, like I see quotes all the time where it's like, one year can change you. Everything can change. You know, like those little cliche quotes. Y'all, it'd be a hundred percent true. Like a year, even just half of a year, even just three months, like literally can change you, can change the path of your life. It's just so crazy. I just hope that 2022 holds. I hope I'm I hope I'm holding a special place in 2022's heart is what I'm trying to say. Like how much I lost that month. Um today is actually February 1st, so I did weigh myself and I was 511.6. So that means just since Sunday, by the way, today is Wednesday, just since Sunday I'm down over four pounds. Your girl's doing it, okay? She's doing it. So in total, in January, I am down, math, Amberlynn, math, 8.4 pounds. And How much binging did you do to gain back all the weight you recently lost? So I lost, I was down a good like 83 pounds and I gained, I think I gained like 15. Oh my God, I gained 15 in like two weeks. You guys have to realize- Here we go, I'm in med school. Mm, I know a lot of things, but I don't know about that. If I have one day of just like tons of sodium, the next day I could be up like four pounds. It is not always about the calories. I know a lot of people seem to think it is, but it's definitely not. When I get off track, my sodium is so bad. It makes me swell super, super bad. And it makes my lymphedema just hard and just full of water retention. It's so bad. And that's why after um, days and days of overeating or like binges, I lose weight rather quickly because I'm losing all of the water retention. I'm ready for a good year. I'm ready to thrive. I have some goals that I really feel like I can obtain. I'm just like super excited for 2022. I love a new fresh moment. Like I love Mondays because of that reason. I love the first of each month because of that reason. But the beginning of a new year, girl. Like when you think of past things that happened, or at least for me, I'm gonna speak for myself. I'm always like referencing the year. Like, oh, in 2006, blah, blah, blah. Oh, in 2017, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, I wanna reference 2022 as like, that's the year I got my shit together. Okay, so we're gonna start a little bit of something, something here. Do you guys remember 100 days of weighing in? Do you guys remember? I was not successful. Um, God, what day did I get to? Wait, I'm gonna go look. Okay, it looks like I've done this more than once. So this time I got up to day 30. So I think that's the last time I tried to do something like this. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I wanna try doing 100 days of weighing in again. So what that is gonna include is it's gonna be like, obviously 100 days of weighing in. I'm gonna show you guys a daily weigh in for 100 days. It is gonna be very much vlog style. So I'm still gonna be like showing you guys the food I'm eating, what I'm doing, like makeup, hauls, like it's, it's gonna be like normal vlogs, but there's gonna be the daily weigh-ins within it. So it's not just gonna be like straight up weight loss videos, it's gonna be a mixture of everything. So good. So, starting in 2021, I wanna have like a schedule Um, I'm putting wasabi in my soy sauce. I want to upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This is what I want to do for now. Fridays, I want to be dedicated to food. Mondays will be a weekly vlog. Wednesdays will be a weight loss moment. I figured, why the heck not? Those are my three favorite videos to film. Mm. So good. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got and then I'll show you how much I ate of it. I just figured that's the best way to do it. So this is Evelyn's pasta. This is just spaghetti noodle with, it kind of tastes like a tomato pesto broccoli, 
uh, zucchini, olives, bell pepper. It's a lot of veggies in that pasta. And honestly, it's amazing. I wanted to try this. This is the Skinny Licious Pop Pie. Skinny Licious at Cheesecake Factory just means that it is lower calorie. So that's what it looks like. I ordered a thing of fries and I only ordered one, but for some reason they gave me two. It's doable because it's only two point something pounds a week. I can do that. I know I can do that. So how am I gonna do that? Every month is gonna be different because just this January, I'm focusing on no take no takeout. I have I haven't had takeout. I know today's only day four, but coming from someone who orders takeout like multiple times a day, like once or twice even three times a day. It is new, but I'm doing good. We are on day four. So this whole January, I do not want to do takeout. I'm allowing myself to eat whatever I want within my home. Yesterday, Feline made lasagna. We loved it. We enjoyed it. We thrived. A year, can we believe this? It's 2017. 17, 2017. Like who, what, when, where, how? Like 17 years ago, it was 2000. No, but like I'm trying to go like within myself and figure this all out and try to build a healthier relationship with food. It's not about, oh, Amberlynn sitting again. I mean, she's gaining weight. It's just absurd to me. Weight loss is hard, <laughs> like point blank period. Um, I'm a food addict who literally on a daily basis is thinking about when can I have my next cheat meal? When can I overeat again? Oh my God, I want ice cream so bad. Or, oh my God, I want the Chinese buffet. Or, oh my God, let's go devour sushi. You know, and with this journey, I am allowing myself to have those things, but nowhere near the quantity that I used to eat them in. Since starting YouTube, I have gained 200 pounds about. I haven't lost any weight since I have been on YouTube. And I wanted to make this video and just be happy and excited. This is a weigh-in, highly requested. It's not a live weigh-in because I already weighed myself <laughs> before this was highly requested. But my next weigh-in will be live, but uh, posting this, I'm ashamed, nervous, but I'm also very hopeful. January 2019, at 560 pounds. I'm doing a front shot, both sides, and a back shot. I want to use this to motivate me, to motivate others, and I am very embarrassed posting this, but I know I need to because I want to be able to come back on here and see changes. I will be posting them monthly. I want to wear the same exact outfit so I can get a better reading. And I also walk forward and I walk backwards <laughs> just to get an idea. January 1st, I weighed in at 560. And January 9th, I weighed at 553.4. January 13th, I weighed at 553.0. January 16th, I weighed at 552. January 18th, 551.6. So I lost about nine pounds um, in 18 days due to just trying to eat less. I had a goal to lose 13 pounds in January and I was gonna count 2000 calories. Um, not happening, not gonna happen. On the 21st, I got some very bad news and it's not things that i want to talk about and i don't know if i ever will because a lot of people are using every small detail about my life to create stories and rumors and a way to use it against me and make fun of me uh, yeah i'm just actively making the choice like i'm not on track today like it's sunday tomorrow it's monday i'm gonna get back on track like will i be <laughs> continuing weight watchers or doing something else who knows like I have been in the 490s forever, it feels like, and it's just like my body won't let me lose more weight. Like I feel like I'm just like self-sabotaging. You know what, I don't even know what that means. People are always talking about like self-sabotage, like addicts do it and food addicts do it and people who binge eat. And I'm just like, how does one sabotage themselves without realizing it, but like they're also doing it on purpose? Like, I don't understand. I need to like do more research on self-sabotage because I just don't get it. So I don't like the depression and the eating disorder. I can't change 
overnight. I can't change in a week. I can't change probably in a year. I won't be able to change in a year. And I just, I need to get this all off my chest and my weight loss and just everything. My, just the whole everything. I just feel unbelievably let down by myself and uh, I just want to wake up and be the person that I destined to be and I just feel like it's never gonna happen because it's almost like I self sabotage myself and I just feel really like crazy right now. <laughs> Cliche AF and I'm gonna do some resolutions for you guys. Um, I'll be my first one is a weight loss one. I don't want to, um, what's that saying called? When you like wish for something and then it doesn't happen because you put it in the air, whatever. Um, I wanna reach 385 pounds. If I do, that would be 100 pounds down overall. That would be amazing. Um, I feel like that's just me pushing it, but I really would like to reach 300s in general. So if it was like 399, 398, that'd be awesome too, but 385, that would be 100 pounds down. Girl, yes. Um, another one is I wanna be more motivated to do things. I want to be motivated to clean, to go out, to film videos, to just wake up, put makeup on, girl, and get your shit did. Like, I really, really want to be just more motivated in general about everything. Because I feel like my motivation has dwindled lately, and that's, like, not cute. So the first one is think more about college. I'm sure a lot of you know I used to major in criminal justice, and I didn't get to finish. I went for about a year and a half, and I ended up having to move across the country while I was in college. Once I moved, I realized that criminal justice was no longer for me, so I never actually went back to college. I firmly believe that college is not for everyone. You don't need college to be successful in life. If you wanna to go to college, that's great. Do what you think is right for you. I always told myself that I would never go back to college, but there are things that I am very interested in and that I have always been interested in. So this honestly makes me want to step out of my comfort zone and go back to college. So this is something that I wanna look more into. I know exactly what I wanna major in. It's something I've always loved and I just wanna know more about it. So that's something I really want to dive into. So that is on my like 2020 bucket list. I wanna feel better, look better, but I wanna dive into more meaningful answers because those reasons I've never worked for me in the past because they're so vague. So as you guys know, highest weight, as you can tell by the title of this video, is 572.4. And I know so many people are like, why does the point four matter? Because for me it does. That number just reflects on something I never want to be again, ever. So since then, I have lost some weight. Hello, very happy and proud. If you guys remember in the video yesterday, I said that I wanted to lose 127.4 pounds this year in total. So I decided to come up with 127 reasons why I want to lose weight, 127. I'm gonna be honest, once I hit about the 100 reason mark, it became kind of hard, but I have 127. I'm just going to name them off for you because I have them written down. Some of them might explain, some of them I won't. And I feel like to, a lot of people are gonna click out of this video because they're gonna be like, oh my God, this is super boring. But I feel like if you're trying to lose weight, please watch this because this is very important because I want you guys to also truly think about why you want to lose weight, whether it's shallow or not, for health reasons or whatever it may be. I really want you guys to listen to these and focus in, be in tune with your body and figure out why this is so important to you. So the first one I want to name off is my reflection won't hurt as much because I stare at myself in the mirror, at least I try not to, and it's just, it hurts to see what I've done to my body. Next reason is collabs. I have been reached out by quite a few YouTubers who want to collab with me and Surprisingly, a lot of them say that they'll come to me, which is super sweet. And I'm gonna be honest, I have came up with so many excuses as to not doing it yet or just like prolonging it. But the truth is I'm embarrassed because of my weight. Very, very embarrassed. And I just, I know they know that I'm big because they watch my videos, but I feel like seeing me in person, I will feel ashamed and embarrassed. Next reason is I wanna be a better girlfriend. I feel like 
if I'm losing weight and I've reached a goal weight or I'm close to my goal weight, I'll feel better about myself and I feel like it'll radiate into all the relationships in my life. So better girlfriend, better sister, better daughter, better friend. I want to have a lap. There are times where my cats or my dog, they try to sit on my lap, which really isn't my lap because my stomach is so big. So I'm looking forward to having a lap. So my next reason is easier to get a job, mainly because it's very obvious that people my size get discriminated against when it comes to getting a job. But if there was no such thing as discrimination at my weight now, I just, there's not many jobs that I could get. And I know YouTube isn't gonna be a forever thing, so I want to lose weight so I am able to get a job in the future. I suffer with really bad anxiety, but I know that it would lessen, not all the way, but if I lost weight, it would lessen because a lot of my anxiety, I feel like is weight based. I want to go on more adventures. I wanna travel, which I actually have a few things listed on here of exact things I wanna do, but I just wanna be in more adventurous and not so scared of doing pretty much everything because of my weight. Next one is I wanna beat food addiction. I know that I will always be a food addict. I will make mistakes, I'll have slip ups, but I feel like by losing a ton of weight, that means I have beat my food addiction in the way that I want to. Another reason why I wanna lose weight is because I want to be comfortable wearing a bra. It doesn't seem like I can find one that is comfortable and fits me the right way. Obviously, I want to gain energy, ugh, cause I am just always, hmm, I don't know if I wanna do that. So losing weight will definitely give me more energy. So obviously, being bigger means I spend more money on food. So another reason why I want to lose weight is because I wanna save money on food. Next reason is I wanna dance again. You know, I could sit here, do a little bit of a jig, but it's not the type of dancing that I used to do when I was younger. I was in talent shows, I was in a hip hop dance group, I was on a jazz float. That's a whole other story within itself. I honestly adore dancing and I just, I can't dance like that anymore. So I want to journal daily. I want to read more. I want to write more, whether it be the story I'm working on, poems, just about my feelings. I really, really, really want to write more poems. I love poetry, huge passion of mine. And I love just like freestyle poetry where you just get your feelings out. And then like what I do is I do it in a little note section on my iPhone. And then I forget that I did it and I like find it a month later and I'm like, dang, that's good, boo boo. So yeah, I really, really love writing. So this one's kind of silly, maybe not, but I just want to pick up after myself more. I have a bad habit of like, perfect example, here's a water bottle. I'll finish drinking it and I'll just set it on the table and without even thinking, it'll be there for like a full day. I'll wake up the next day and be like, oh, I left your water bottle on the table. You know, it's just simple things like that. I feel like add up. So I want to try it to not do that anymore and just pick up after myself a little bit more. I feel like it's very important that I learn to say no. I let people walk all over me. When people ask me for something, doesn't matter really what it is, I always feel obligated to say yes. Not always a bad thing. Like I'm a very giving person, but it becomes a bad thing when I don't know how to say no. Where I just give, give, give. I just feel like there needs to be some sort of balance because I'm almost losing myself in the process of just consistently always being a yes man, I just feel like I need to calm down. I need to learn when to say no versus when to say yes. So <laughs> I know I say this all the time that I want to dye my hair, cut my hair, whatever it may be, but I promise you the year 2020, I will be cutting my hair and I will be dyeing it. Hands down, it is going to happen because I just wear my hair like this all the time. I'll wash it, put it up. I won't brush it for like a few days. I don't take care of my hair like I used to and I almost don't know if I like my hair anymore, which is really sad because I used to love having long hair. My hair is like past my butt, super long, um, it's fried. I don't like that I've bleached the ends, like this was a while ago. I'm very sad that I've reached a point where I just feel like cutting a lot of it off is probably the way to go at this point. When that happens, I'm gonna vlog it. Because I need to validate my own self. I don't need strangers online to tell me, good job, great job, you got this. But what I do want with you guys is that trust, that bonding again. I want to show you guys I am doing this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain highest weight and when I weighed that, blah, 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 blah. And then we will get into what I weigh as of a few days ago. But hopefully this isn't confusing to anyone. That's why I'm just gonna do it in like short form. As you guys know, my highest weight ever was 572.4.
I don't remember when I actually weighed that though. I don't know if it was the beginning of 2019 or if it was the ending of 2018. I honestly do not remember. But on September 27th of 2019, which was just last year, I weighed 566.4. So that was only down like six pounds from my heaviest, like, it was like whatever so it was October 8th I weighed myself in private and I weighed 571.0 and this was just last year um like what a few months ago so when I was 571.0 that means I was 1.2 pounds away from my heaviest weight and it's like I stayed around the same 10 pounds for like a year and I literally was so happy that I didn't gain. But weight I want to lose in 2021. I always set goals for myself and never been going pretty good. So the first thing I want to talk about is how much weight I want to lose in 2021. I always set goals for myself and never succeed in them. But there's always at one point when you might actually succeed. So I don't want to stop myself from setting a goal, whether I fail or I don't. And instead of saying I'm going to try losing this amount of weight, I wanna say I am going to lose this amount of weight. I really, really wanna to stick to positive affirmations and just every day wake up with a clear and level-headed mind. I know a lot of people say one day at a time or whatever, but for me, it is definitely one meal at a time, one hour at a time. Things get hard for someone who, you know, loves food, loves to eat, emotional eater, you know, food addict, the whole nine yards. So how much weight I am going to be losing this year, my goal is 100 pounds, you know? That's literally two pounds a week. When you say it like that, it doesn't sound so hard, especially someone my size. But then when you say it as a whole, it's like, okay, 100 pounds in a year, whoa, that's a lot. But I feel like deep down, I could do this. I have to do this and I have to succeed in this for way more reasons than one. But the next thing I wanna talk about is what I'm going to be doing to lose weight. As you guys know, if you've been following me for a long time, you guys know that I bounce back and forth between diets and I have done literally every diet you can think of, like calories, I've tried being vegan, vegetarian, intuitive eating, Octavia, which don't try that, just don't. I have downloaded different apps, Noom, Carb Counter, uh, my fitness pal, Lose It. Like I have done literally everything and for me out of everything that i have done which i have said this before out of everything i've done what i chose to do for now is what makes me feel the best so as you guys know i did stop doing jenny craig and it's because i went to gatlinburg and i didn't want to bring my food <laughs> i just didn't i didn't want to bring my jenny craig food and when i fell off then i wasn't able to get back on it's just one of those things where once I have like a cheat meal or, you know, I stop following plan for a day, I spiral out of control and I like can't find myself. So that is the reason why I quit Jenny Craig. There was no like rhyme or reason, no tea. It was literally because I went to Gatlinburg and I just spiraled out of control. So Jenny Craig makes me feel the best. I eat the healthiest on it. You know, everything is just planned out for me. And the only thing that I need to do really is just follow the plan and the weight should just fall off. What I love about it is I'm constantly eating veggies, I'm eating the right amount of carbs, I'm eating fruits, um, the calories are perfect. Like everything is just high there. I ain't gotta think about it really. You know, there's downsides to every weight loss diet or lifestyle change that you can think of. And the one for me that is the hardest besides the obvious of eating less is I have to eat six times a day. So I do feel like I'm thinking about food a lot but the fact that I get to eat every two hours for 12 hours straight, it's kind of nice because it's like, okay, I don't really feel too hungry, but it's like having to think about it all the time kind of sucks. But overall, I love Jenny Craig, it's amazing. So that is what I am doing to lose weight. So my weigh-in today, I was 526.8. So every Wednesday, I'm going to weigh myself and tell you guys how that goes. And I am hoping this week, I really would like to lose about eight pounds or more. So with my goal of losing 100 pounds this year, that means hopefully in a year, I weigh 426.8. And you know what? No, not hopefully, it's going to happen. So that is my weigh-in, weigh-in number one. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys are having a good new year. My weight loss, which I should have mentioned this already, but I wanna write down everything I eat. I know there's gonna be days where I accidentally forget, 
or you know I just skip I'm feeling too lazy to write it down but majority of the time I want to write it down because what I've noticed is that sometimes I'll forget like what I eat throughout the day and by writing it down I could go back and be like oh I already ate quite a bit today versus if I didn't do that I wouldn't remember how much I ate earlier and then I'll overeat it's just a lot easier for me so being mindful of what I'm eating and writing it down actually helps a lot. I also want to create a weight loss Instagram and make it public. So I used to actually have one at Curvy Calories, but I no longer want to use that one. Rarity, <laughs> Rarity's on the table again. You guys saw her tail do a little jig. But I used to have a weight loss Instagram, Curvy Calories, but I kind of want to leave that behind because I did have quite a few people following my, following me on there, like over 10,000. And it's like, that. I think it's like two years old. And it's just like, I suck. I flopped on that. So I want to create a new one. And when I'm done creating it, when I have my first post up, and when I'm ready to reveal my weight, I will definitely make it public. For the lack of a better word, um, I haven't been caring so much about like counting calories. That is what this all boils down to is I need to stop being so lazy and so unmotivated and I need to just count them cows because that is the way that I'm going to get this weight off uh, quicker. Last Wednesday I weighed 490.4 and this Wednesday I weighed... So that means this week I'm only down 0.8 in total I'm down 82.8 but you guys I'm now in the 480s so we can kiss the 490s goodbye I love reaching a new milestone where I can officially say like okay so I'm no longer in the 510s I'm no longer in the 500s I'm no as you guys know my highest weight is 572.4 I have a goal weight that I want to be by the end of this year I want to lose in total which is part of what I've already lost. I want to be down in total 127.4 pounds, which will put me at 445. So I've already lost some of that 127.4, which I can't wait to you know share that with you guys, obviously. So yeah, I really wanna reach 445 in this year. Um, I am nervous because whenever I put out something like that, I tend to not succeed. But instead of this year putting out my goals and then like just hoping they just happen by like some magical fairy just like drops down and sprinkles some like dust on me. I actually need to work on succeeding in these goals and I'm the only one that could do it. And I wanna share that journey with you guys. I want to walk a million steps this year. I know when I say that out loud, I'm like, is that even possible? I'm like so confused. But when you guys divide it by 365, it's less than like 3,000 steps a day, which I know some days I'll probably do less than 3,000. I know some days I'll do more. I feel like I could possibly even go over a million. Actually, I feel like I know I can, but I just thought it was a cute little goal. A million is such like a big, broad number and it'll help me move more. And it'll just be exciting to see that number like rack up every day. So obviously I'm not wearing my Apple Watch today, January 1st, which today was <laughs> would have been day one, but I forgot to charge it. Cause as you guys know, I haven't really been wearing it but it's on the charger now, so I'm definitely gonna wear it tomorrow. And I can't wait to take my step one of day four, January 4th of 100 days of weighing in. So I'm gonna put that right here. So 499.2 means overnight I lost 2.6 pounds. Yesterday, I only had about 1100 calories. I honestly, weirdly enough, like barely thought about food yesterday, which is <laughs> pretty great. I noticed the days where I have coffee when I first wake up, like it's almost like an appetite suppressant. So I love having just a little bit of coffee. It definitely helps. You guys, I'm back. Plus it's gonna, just change my whole attitude about life. I feel like it's gonna give me more opportunities, more happiness, more freedom. Obviously it's gonna majorly help with mental health, physical health, et cetera, et cetera. So I do wanna weigh 350 this year. Um, I would love to reach 350 probably in like December, but let's talk about these 100 days. I'm thinking I could lose probably a good 50 pounds in the next 100 days. So that is my goal. I'm nervous. Um a little I guess these are resolutions I don't know but I want to try doing 1800 calories for as long as I can and um, logging them into my fitness pal because that's just the easiest way to go my fitness pal is a great site there's an app you can do the website I just 
it really is a great website but I have not counted calories religiously in so long that it actually kind of scares me to do so <laughs> but I'm going to try um so and another few things is like if I go out to eat if they have low calorie meals I want to train myself into choosing those low calorie meals because there's no reason I shouldn't there's no reason I shouldn't really but if this place doesn't have that option I feel like using my brain and getting something that sounds healthy but wait we all know that restaurants have dishes that sound healthy you look up the calories and it's like a thousand we all know this but I feel like we should use our brain a little bit and maybe if there isn't calories that probably does mean something right it does mean that there's probably not really low calorie dishes so what you should what we should do is or I, I should be speaking for myself I'm sorry <laughs> what I should do is get that dish and you know eat half now and save half for tomorrow I mean yeah that's 500 calories in one sitting but who doesn't do that that 500 calories I feel like it's a decent meal like for dinner or even for lunch uh, move more like whether it's just walking up and down the stairs an extra few times a day or whether it's walking Twinkie for more than 10 minutes three times a day because that's what we do I walk her three times a day for 10 minutes it's literally nothing and I feel like and I both need a little more walking if you know what I'm saying um or even if it's just like if I'm sitting in bed watching YouTube videos which I do do a lot I am a YouTuber so I do like to watch fellow YouTubers <laughs> wink wink um so if I'm just sitting in bed between each YouTube video stand up do some stretches I'm being far-fetched right now but girl I want to think positive yes I just want to move more for whatever reason just move more um Another one, a really important one, is I want to take care of myself physically, emotionally, mentally, in just all aspects of life. I feel like I put myself in the back burner a lot for everyone. Um, I try to put everyone first. I put my pets first. I put my friends first. I put destiny first. And it's not that I want to be selfish, because definitely not. That's not um, who I am. I'm definitely not a selfish person person at all like if you know me you know that um, I just really want to put myself first just a few times I want to do things for me and take care of myself and I don't know I feel like that's really important for everybody to you know be like that sometimes in their life but don't forget about the ones around you you know you know <laughs> find a balance <laughs> um, another one is this one isn't really up to me, obviously, and I feel like New Year's resolutions are very much like, you need to make them if you know you can, do, not if you know you can do them. That's not right. If you're in control, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not in control of this one, but I would love to reach 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. I know it's, <sighs> why not? So, my weigh-in today was 377.0. That's a 43 pound weight loss total, but that means I need to lose 77.2 more pounds to reach this resolution. I want to tell you guys right now, Becky and I are doing a weight loss wars, which we have talked about before. Becky and I, how we're doing this is we're seeing who can lose the most weight, but obviously it's that she's smaller than me. We're not actually going by weight. We're going to be going by percentages. What we're going to do is each week we're going to put 10 or $20 in a jar. I think I really want to do 20 I don't know though. We're going to put that money in a jar and at the end of the three months, whoever loses the most weight in percentages is going to be the one to take that money and do whatever they want with it. We have decided together that the weight we've already lost, my lousy little bit over eight pounds because I decided to do tons of puking is going to count into this. She's lost about 14. So we're going to gather the percentages, figure it all out. Uh, right now I'm going to set up my Fitbit and then I'm going to set up my calorie counting app, which I haven't yet done that yet because I wanted to put my true starting weight in there. I'm going to be using Lose It. Becky's going to be using the same one. She's going to be using Lose It because we're, she was trying to decide if she wanted to do Lose It or my fitness pal at one point. Guys, here's an update. It's currently now 6 p.m. I ended up taking a medicine 
for my sickness that made me super tired so I napped for a little bit over two hours I hadn't ate or anything so I ended up just having a quest bar but now we're finally gonna go get groceries so I can cook us dinner got my water with me at all times okay you guys so I want to do a grocery haul we just got back from the store and I need to put this stuff away so we're gonna try to go really fast I got two of these mango chunks. These are going to be for smoothies and they're frozen. Got a really big container of spinach. These are also going to be for smoothies, but they're also just going to be for other random things. So Becky really wanted pickles to snack on, so she got some pickles. I'm, also, I'm aware they're high in sodium, so I'm just going to do like, you know, one every snack, snack time. She also wanted raisins, so she got some raisins. We both got some of these oven roasted almonds, sea salt. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of this here and there depending on you know what I'm making, but this is just a Prego roasted garlic and herb. Because that is really just the way to lose weight is count calories. I know a lot of people disagree with this. That's okay, everyone has different opinions. But um the most common way to lose weight is to eat less calories than you normally do. So um what I mean by healthier choices in food is, let's say I have 300 calories left for the night and my options can be 300 calories of potato chips, 300 calories of apples. I, don't know. I was trying to just use an example. Um, instead of choosing the chips, I want to try choosing the apple. Mm, we'll see. Like, I just want to try, you know, making those little changes. Yeah, like, who's with me on that one? Like, healthier? I'm free. If I wanted more money, I'd be making move bombs, honey. <laughs> you are a disrespectful 